Good morning, we are Jan van Thu and Esther Muñoz, and we are to talk about the design of circuits with multiple VDD for power reduction. The presentation will be divided in different sections. First, we will present why we are going to use the technique of multiple VDD, reminding previous concepts. Second, we are going to expose what is the purpose of using multiple VDD and to present the concept of critical path. Third, we will explain how we are going to implement the multiple VDD, the possible problems that can appear with this technique and their solutions. Once we know all these concepts, we are going to show a real application of the multiple VDD technique. And finally, we will expose some conclusions. Why we are going to use the technique of multiple VDD? Nowadays, in the electronic field, the researchers are looking for the reduction of power consumption without modifying the circuit speed. That is working clock frequency. We should take into account that power is divided in static and dynamic power. In our case, we are going to work with dynamic power, which depends quadratically on the VDD voltage. From the formulas, if VDD voltage is reduced, we can observe that the dynamic power consumption decreases, but the delay increases which means that the working cross frequency decreases. So we can conclude that there must be a trade-off between the power consumption and the delay. As we will explain later, it is important to take into account that this use of multiple VDD voltage will be just applied to the non-critical paths of the combinational blocks. That is to uh, that is to all of these passes which have a lower delay than the critical pass, which sets the highest delay and the consequently the maximum clock frequency at which works the circuit. So this delay must not be modified. Basing on all this concept of purpose of this work is reducing the VDD voltage to decrease the global power consumption in the circuit. For that, multiple VDD voltage will be employed in order to decrease the supply voltage in some part of the circuit, and consequently reducing the power consumption of the complete circuit. To carry out the technique of multiple VDD, first we should consider the concept of critical path. It is defined, as we have said previously, as the path with the highest delay in the circuit. This delay is called critical delay and allow us to set the maximum clock frequency at which the circuit works. In this case, the circuit is based on a set of flip-flops with three combinational circuits between them, a multiplier, an adder, and a comparator. If we see the delays of the different blocks, we can determine that the maximum delay is reached by the multiplier with a value of 100 nanoseconds. So, the multiplier will be defined as the critical path with a critical delay of 100 nanoseconds. Finally, knowing the critical delay, we will calculate the maximum clock frequency at which this circuit will work, that is 10 MHz. If we study a circuit of a real application, we can see that the critical path indicated with a black arrow is that one which goes from flip-flop A to flip-flop B. It is defined as the critical path because it has a higher delay than the remaining path, so it will determine the working clock frequency of the circuit. Once we know the working clock frequency of the circuit, that is the maximum clock frequency that is determined by the critical path. We should know that this circuit is also composed of no critical path. As we have explained before, which are paths with lower delays than the critical path. Some examples of non-critical paths are indicated in the figure with arrows of color. To this path, we will apply the technique of multiple VDD. This technique consists in reducing the supply voltage VDD in some flip-flops and the gate of non-critical paths to decrease the power consumption and to increase the delay without exceed the critical delay. It means that the maximum clock frequency is not modified. In the right figure, we can visualize the using of multiple VDD voltage, in which the strip components are that ones which have a reduced VDD called VDD-L, while the remaining component keep, keeps the original VDD called VDD-H. Unfortunately, the multiple VDD technique has a big drawback when there is a direct connection between a VDD-L gate and a VDD-H gate. 
as can be observed in the left figure. If we analyze this problem by a circuit with two inverters, we can see that it happens when the input voltage of the DDL gate is equal to zero, and therefore the output voltage is VDDL or a logic one. VDDL is not the highest super voltage, so it do not act like an ideal logic one for the input of the second inverter, but it act like a logic one low. As we can see in the right fig figure, which represents the transfer function of the second inverter, for an input voltage lower than VDDH minus VDP, the PMOS transistor is not completely disabled, so it reached a non-ideal state because both CMOS transistors are on. Choose in this state, the PMOS transistor generates a static current, which produces the dissipation of static power. In order to solve the problem contemplated in the previous slide, we are going to implement in the circuit level converters, which modify the voltage level from VDDL to VDDH and do not dissipate static power. If we analyze the circuit for the case in which the input is a one low, we can observe that the N2 transistor is on and the N1 transistor is off. It implies that the gate terminal of P2 transistor is a logic one, therefore P2 is off while the gate terminal of P1 transistor is a logic zero. Therefore, P1 is on. In this way, at the output, we will obtain a one height, that is, VDDH voltage. So, if we implemented the level converters in the circuit presented before, we get the following figure, in which there are four level converters displayed for the transitions from VDDL gates to VDDH gates. Also, using multiple VDD voltages, the power consumption is reduced in some parts of the circuit. The level converters present some drawbacks. Dissipate power, generate a bigger area of the circuit, and add a certain delay. Therefore, it is important limiting the number of converters. In order to check how affected using multiple VDD voltage, we are going to analyze the obtained result of the study automatic low power technique exploiting multiple supply voltage applied to a media processor. This study has as goal reduce the power consumption of a media processor chip using two VDD voltage that are VDDL and VDDH. To carry out the goal of the study, first the researcher has to look for the value of the optimum VDDL voltage, as we can visualize in the left figure, which represents the percentage of gates surprised with the VDDL voltage as a function of the value of the normalized VDDL voltage applied. As we can see, the number of gates surprised by the VDDL voltage decreases regarding the reduction of the VDDL voltage. So we can conclude the minimum power consumption is a trade-off between the VDDL voltage and the number of gates surprised with this voltage. Based on this concept and analyzing the application result, we can observe in the right figure which the optimum VDDL voltage obtained is 1.9 volt in order to minimize the power consumption. Once at the value of the VDDL voltage, we obtain the following graphic, which compares the percentage of path in the relation with the delay of the origin on the zinc in black and the zinc with the multiple VDD voltages in white. According to the figure, in the original zinc, the most parts of the path have a normalized delay of 0.5 while applying multiple VDD voltages, the delay has increased and there is a distribution of the most part of the path between 0 0.7, 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. As we stated above, applying two voltages, the delay increases, but there, they never exceed the value of the critical delay. In that way, there are no violations of, of time, so the working clock frequency is not modified. Finally, they have analyzed, at, as it is shown in the figure, the power consumption regarding the several modes which form the media processor chip. From the figure, we can conclude that using multiple VDD voltages, the power consumption of the different models 
is reduced considerably in relation with the original circuit between a 39% and a 57%. In addition, we can visualize that the power consumption of the level converters is negligible regarding the power consumption of the flip-flops and the combinational gates. From the study analyzed, we can obtain the following conclusions. First, there is a great reduction of global power consumption. Second, the working frequency clock is not modified. Third, the insertion of level converter extends the circuit area. So, using multiple VDD voltage is a good technique to reduce the power consumption. From the presentation exposed previously, we propose the following exercises. Thank you for your attention.